the immigration ban is unlawful, unconstitutional, and un-American. Commonwealth can move ahead with a lawsuit against President Trump's immigration order. Today, a federal judge approved the effort led by Attorney General Mark Herring. Laura Geller was the only local reporter in Alexandria for today's hearing. Some tense moments and harsh words from a judge inside this federal courthouse in Alexandria this morning, where a hearing lasted just over an hour. Chaos. That's what a federal judge said President Trump's executive order on immigration led to. Chaos for people like Osman Nureldin and Sahar Fadul. Osman is a U.S. citizen, Fadul from the Sudan. They fell in love and planned to get married. She was given a K-1 visa to do that, but was then detained at Dulles Airport. Uh, imagine that you have worked rigorously for months and months to have a the ability to live in this country, to work, to pay your taxes, to buy a house, and then to suddenly, at the stroke of a pen, literally when she's in the air, have that dream dashed. Timothy Hafey is the couple's attorney who joined attorneys representing the Commonwealth. The state's motion relied on an argument of financial hardship that this executive order would cost Virginia money it could get from citizens who can't come here. But Mark Herring told us today that trivializes what's at the heart of this issue. The right to worship freely, uh, equal protection and due process. These are core concepts and values, and sometimes they seem lofty and abstract, but they're real. The judge rejected the federal government's argument there is no reason for Virginia to join this case since it is reaching settlements with the plaintiffs. Lawyers revealed today 100,000 visas have been revoked. Hafey believes that's the reason that litigation needs to move forward. The problem isn't solved by our clients coming back, by the Aziz brothers coming back, because there are many people in that situation that haven't had their day in court. And the attorney general and his lawyers will be back here in Alexandria a week from today to argue on the temporary injunction dealing with this executive order. In Alexandria, Laura Geller, 13 News Now. There are more than a dozen lawsuits filed across the country against President Trump's immigration order. Here's a map showing where those lawsuits were filed. A majority of the lawsuits were filed by people who were detained at airports while trying to enter the U.S. from one of the countries named in the ban. Federal judges in Massachusetts and Washington state heard arguments today on requests to stop enforcement of the ban. 